वेलकम एवरी वन द क्वेश्चन इज ए लॉन्ग स्ट्रेट वायर ए लॉन्ग स्ट्रेट वायर क्रॉस सेक्शन रेडियस ए दैट मीन्स द क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया इज पाई इज स्क्वायर कैर इज अ स्टेडी करेंट दैट मीन्स द करेंट इज नॉट चेंजिंग विथ टाइम सो ऑब्वियसली इट इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ मैग्नेटो स्टैटिक्स द करेंट इज यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अक्रॉस इट क्रॉस सेक्शन and the ratio of the magnitudes of the magnetic field at a distance a by 2 above the surface of the air to at a point a by 2 below the surface of the air so uh, obviously this configuration is somehow uh, looking like this let us consider this is a uniform cross section area air and this is the cross section area of this air and through his electrons are flowing obviously electrons are flowing and we, i am showing you uh, the drift of it and this is the radius uh, radius a is uh, i have already shown so if the capital i is the current flowing through the wire please uh, let me check it out uh, that what you have learned before you know the ampere circuit law and that is circuit integral v dot dl mu not i enclosed and you know that that is if it is infinitely straight current carrying wire and through which the i current is flowing and then the magnetic field at any distance at a perpendicular distance r from the wire is mu not i 2 pi r okay so you know this very well so but here it is said that the a, a, uh, that the wire that wire have a certain cross section the cross section is not negligible here so for that purpose we need to know a particular term which is called current density what is current density we have know the density density is nothing but the mass per unit volume but what is current density current density you have learned in the differential form of the ohms law and in differential form of the ohms law what you have learned that, that is a simply a j that is the current density it is defined as current flowing through per unit area that is i divided by a so here the steady current capital i is flowing through uh, this wire and the radius of the wire is a uh, so we can consider that is i divided by pi mul multiplied by a square pi i square is the cross sectional area of this wire now uh, in this question it is said two things that is the you have to find out the magnetic field at the point p2 and you have to find out the magnetic field at the point p1 so if you want to find the magnetic field at the point p2 then you have to consider an amperian loop okay you have to consider an amperian loop like this of radius and what is the radius for the point p2 uh, that is the radius is r2 r2 is equal to a plus a by 2 because we have seen in the diagram that the p2 point is at a distance a by 2 from the surface of the wire so as a whole the total distance is a plus a by 2 from the axis of the wire that's why the radius of the amperian loop that we have considered that is passing through the p2 point as well that is 3a divided by 2 so if i consider uh, the magnetic field at the point p2 is b2 then according to the ampere circuit law we can write it down that is b2 dot dl2 uh, cyclic integral uh, equal to mu not i enclosed obviously i enclosed you know that what is there that is the uh, current enclosed by the amperian loop and here we have considered the amperian loop is a circular one and it basically binds the wire as a whole uh, that's why i enclosed nothing but the total current so i am writing down it is nothing but the total current that is mu not into i and here if i consider a very small el elemental length that is the dl2 here okay dl2 here the magnetic field according to the uh, right hand thumb rule it is also tangential to the at any point on the loop so there is no angle between the b2 vector and dl2 vector as you know uh, so it will be cyclic integral b2 dl2 i am not writing down the cos 0 degree because it is one so b2 is a constant and since the magnetic field is the following the inverse square law and it is de depending on the distance obviously is depending on the current configurations but since here the current co it is outside the current configuration so it is depending on the distance at each and every point on the ampere loop is at the same distance from the axis of the wire uh, so from symmetry 
b2 can be taken outside that integral so it is b2 and obviously then in the integration is over the dl2 then dl2 will give you nothing but 2 pi r2 equal to mu naught into i okay so what is the value of the b2 here so the value of the b2 is equal to nothing but mu naught i mu naught i divided by 2 pi r2 obviously and i am just replacing the value of the r2 here that is 3 a divided by 2 so these two and these two basically nothing but cancels out so the magnetic at any point p2 at any point uh, at a distance a by 2 from the surface of the wire is nothing but 3 pi a okay now let us try to find it out the magnetic field at the point p1 and here also we have to consider an ampere loop of radius a by 2 now the point is that what is the current enclosed by the ampere loop that we need to find it out so let us try to find it out first i enclosed 2 i am writing i enclosed uh, by the, i enclosed not 2 i enclosed 1 i enclosed 1 at the point p1 in the case of this i am simply writing down i because it is the ampere loop of radius uh, r2 or 3 a by 2 is basically uh, encloses the whole wire but here it does not enclose the whole wire a portion of the current which is just passing through this pi into a by 2 whole square area we will have to find it out that so that's how we have calculated current density current density is nothing but the current flowing through power unit area multiplied by the area of the ampere loop that we have considered that is pi into a by 2 whole square so let us put the value of j what is j j is nothing but i divided by pi a squared and it is pi into a squared divided by 4 so pi s square pi s square cancels out so the current is nothing but i by 4 so the value of the i enclosed uh, by a uh, ampere loop of radius a by 2 uh, is i by 4 so uh, according to the ampere circuit law i am writing down b1 b1 is the magnetic field uh, magnetic field at any point on this ampere loop of radius a by 2 and passing through the point p1 and uh, that is b1 dot dl1 and dl1 obviously an elemental length on this on this uh ampere loop of radius a by 2 which is passing through the point p1 equal to mu naught mu naught i enclosed what is i enclosed we have just calculated it is i by 4 what is i by 4 we have already told it is nothing but the current flowing through the circular loop of area a by 2 so obviously here just like in the similar manner the magnetic field is tangential and it is in the same direction as that of the infinite infinite decimal length dl1 so cos 0 degree and, and again for the same reason v1 can be taken outside the integration even if you do the integration over this dl1 you will get nothing but the 2 pi r1 okay and uh, what is r1 if i want to say what is r1 r1 is nothing but a by 2 here which is the radius of the loop okay so uh, it is mu naught into i by 4 and uh, here uh, it is b1 b1 equal to mu naught uh, multiplied by i by 4 divided by 2 pi and what is the value of the r1 the value of the r1 is the uh, radius of the ampere loop that is the a by 2 i am just putting this value so this will become after the simplification mu naught i divided by 8 pi r1 r1 i am just replacing the value here that is the a by 2 so that is cancelous out so we get it is nothing but mu naught i divided by 4 pi a so two values we have obtained mu naught i divided by 3 pi by a that is at the point p2 and uh, mu naught i divided by 4 pi a that is at the point p1 now return back to the question so magnetic field at any point outside magnetic field at any point outside which you have considered uh, at the point p2 we have calculated and that is mu naught i divided by 3 pi a let us write it down as a b2 the value of b2 
magnetic field at any point outside i am writing down here outside for convenience outside uh, that is your mu naught i divided by 3 pi a and at any point inside at a distance a by 2 inside the surface of the wire so that is b1 i am writing down again inside for convenience okay so we have calculated you can uh, see the previous part of this video uh, for this convenience that is 4 pi a so what it is said uh, you have to find it or the ratio of the magnitude of the magnetic field at a distance a by 2 above the surface of the wire that means the outside uh, and 2 at the point at a distance a by 2 below the surface of the wire that is at any point inside so here we have to calculate nothing but b2 divided by the b1 that is outside divided by the inside and b2 is mu naught i 3 pi a and b1 is nothing but mu naught i 4 pi a so mu naught i pi by a is cancels out the numerator and denominator so it becomes 1 by 3 divided by 1 by 4 so this will become simply 4 by 3 or we can say it is 4 is to 3 so the option c is the correct option here thank you all of you